Hey guys, George Dimeyard Sports Cards coming at you with another video. Happy Friday to everyone. Uh, coming into this weekend, lots of football this weekend, lots of college football, but more importantly, there is some baseball on the horizon. Really excited about the baseball playoffs coming up. Got some really, really good teams, uh, some very compelling storylines. Uh, and so it's going to be an outstanding uh, playoffs and home stretch here, I think. I mean, maybe not that many pennant races, wild card spots, but still there's there's just, you know, the judge home run story. Um, you know, you have so many good teams uh, in the NL and the AL. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I have a mail day from a great YouTuber and friend, uh, Legends Never Die, an unofficial misfit, and uh, wanted to talk about a great card I got. It's a swell Jackie Robinson, finally. Uh, and then wanted to talk a little bit about Mr. Albert Pujol. So let's get to it. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Okay, guys. Um, looking here, I have, first of all, uh, a care package from Mr. Jake. Uh, and Legends Never Die. Thank you so much for, for thinking about me, Jake, and sending this out. I've got a custom... Uh, 1956 awesome card here to George, my future softball teammate. Uh, Jake and I talked about softball. He's an outstanding younger softball player. I've been playing softball for more than a few years. Legends never die. And there's the SIG, which is awesome. Um, so put that right there. And Jake sent me a note here. I think these are reprints. I know the Perez Steels are. But regardless, I think these belong in your PC uh, with your affinity for Brooklyn. Isaiah 40, 31. God bless, my friend. Legends never die. Jake. Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you for thinking about me. Appreciate the good thoughts and sending the verse my way. And uh, really uh, appreciate uh, you, uh, again, thinking about me. So that's very cool. Um, all right, so let's see what's here. I guess we got some Brooklyn Dodgers in the collection here. And reprint or no reprint, we love all kinds of baseball cards. As Jeez Mikey says, all baseball cards are beautiful, uh, which is so true. Wow, Jake, jeez. <clears throat> Look at this stuff. So I'm going to that aside a little bit. Oh, wow. P Preacher Row. Nice. Very cool. Very artistic. I love it, man. Preacher Row, Edwards, Mr. Brooklyn Dodgers. These look like they are photo packs. Reprint of a photo pack, Hugh Casey. Very cool. Eddie Stanky. Eddie Stanky. What a great name. The Duke. I think this looks like it's the 48... Dodgers photo pack. I have a 49 and this is the younger, uh, this is the year earlier Duke on the photo pack. I think this is the rookie, the rookie Duke, if I could say that. Carl Furlow. Very cool. This is awesome, Jake. Thank you. Dolph Camille, who I believe won the MVP. I'm just going off uh, memory here. Gil Hodges, the newly minted Hall of Famer. Ralph Branca, of course, of fame. Bobby Thompson. Oh, very cool, man. Very cool. Love it. Awesome. Nice, Pee Wee. These are just exquisite. Love it, Jake. Love it. Campy. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. So that's going to go in the background. Get Eric Fourleaf. He's done me a drawing there of Mr. Henry Aaron. Jake, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for thinking about me. These definitely fit the collection for sure and uh, really, really appreciate it. Next thing I want to talk about is Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols has, uh, you know, just passed A-Rod on the uh, all-time home run list. You know, to, to think about his accomplishments, how great he has been over the years, I mean, we really just need to appreciate him uh, and celebrate his accomplishments. Uh, I know a lot of people think, well, he was with the Angels, and there's a whole generation of people who didn't see the St. Louis Cardinals, Albert Pujols, who just dominated the league, probably should have had an extra MVP. Um, you know, Bonds was was rolling and stuff. and But Pujols is just, he was so good for so long with St. Louis. 
Uh, now he's back and you know in St. Louis, and this is a Derby Diggs card from the Home Run Derby uh, in 2003, uh, allegedly a, a jersey uh, worn by him uh, in the Home Run Derby. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, and then this is a Prospects card, E Prospects, Upper Deck Evolution. It's a numbered rookie card. Uh, I think it's numbered to, I don't know, 2000, 2,250 right there. Uh, but anyway, so, I mean, when Albert was with, you know, when he was with uh, the Cardinals, the numbers were amazing. Three-time MVP. Uh, just, you know, every year rolling out, hitting between 310 and, and then 340 or so, you know, knocking 120 runs. Just a dangerous, dangerous hitter and the most dangerous hitter in the National League at that time for a decade. Uh, anyway, just great to see him just continuing to roll, continuing to, you know, pass people. Can't say I was disappointed with him passing A-Rod. Frankly, I was delighted. That's just me. But anyway, so uh, just appreciate him. Appreciate what he does. Uh, and I know that Don and Scott uh, and went over to uh, see him hit his 697th home run. If you haven't watched Scott's video <coughs> with uh, uh, Reindeer Studios, he, he, he presents an awesome woodcut of Musial and Clemente. To Don, uh, it's just gorgeous. It's it's gorgeous. So uh, check it out. Last thing, big pickup. Uh, at the National, I was looking for this card. This is a 1948 Swell Jackie Robinson. Could be said that this is earlier than the Leaf because it's 48. It talks about his dramatic debut. I mean, frankly, it could be like the rookie card. Uh, anyway, these, uh, these st Swell Sports Thrills. Have uh, Lou Gehrig, Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, and the set Bob Feller, uh, John Mangini did a great video about them, and uh, so have some other YouTubers. But I was, of course, authenticated by eBay. So you're watching the first. We're cracking it. We're getting rid of it because we don't care. Oh, there it goes. It's no longer authentic. No longer the guarantee of authenticity. See you later. Um, anyway, you know the reason you buy PSA cards. Look up the cert numbers. And all that is because, you know, you want it to be authentic as it is. So um, eBay sends it across the country. Then it has to get authenticated and sends it back across the country, which personally I think is terrible because this card is scarce. Um, you know, there's like 200 graded by PSA, much more scarce than the Leaf or the 49 Bowman. Uh, and I don't want it to get have a chance of getting destroyed. So I'm very much not a proponent of that, especially with rarer cards uh, or, or scarcer cards. But anyway... Really happy to add this, um, Jackie, to the collection. And it just a few players have started the season under more tense and dramatic conditions than Jackie Robinson and the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. Uh, anyway, so it's, it tells a cool story on the back about how basically his speed on the base pass was amazing. Possibly most outstanding feat was an occasion against the Cubs in June when he went from <clears throat> first to home. On a bunt, Jackie broke from first base as Gene Hermansky bunted. The pitcher threw uh, throughout Hermansky. Jackie went past second and on the third. And as we saw, Stan Hack was drawn off, off the base. The throw to Hack was hurried and Robinson blazed the plate. Uh, he crossed safely in the most amazing running exhibition. A uh, subsequent night in Pittsburgh, Robinson stole home to break a 2-2 tie. So, I mean, you can see here just the speed on the base paths. I believe that these, these are from, this is from 1947, this, this game they're referring to, the games. So, uh, this would be a 48 and came out um, firmly in 48 with these swell. Uh, so, I picked this card up and it's got a little toning on the left here. It's not centered as, as I typically look for, but this card is nearly impossible to find centered, extremely difficult. Top to bottom, the centering is great. Uh, and more importantly to me, the picture, the, the registration of the picture was really important to me. And, uh, you know, so often there are all kinds of, there's fuzz, haze, snow on his face. You can't see it very well. I was really uh, happy to find this one. The seller worked with me. Frankly, I found one of these Sport Thrills 48 Jackies at the National. There was one that I found. Maybe I missed one. There was a SGC 2.5, and uh, the seller just didn't seem like he wanted to move the card. So um, I kept looking and kept looking and kept looking when I got home. So I was finally able to pick this one up. And again, it's it's a far rarer issue than the Leaf or the 49 Bowman. 
Um, obviously not as rare as like the blue tint, for example, but it's just a wonderful card directly discussing the dramatic debut of uh, one of baseball's most iconic figures. So guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And Jake, I appreciate all the Brooklyn Dodgers you sent me. Uh, keep watching Mr. Pujols uh, and these uh, the great end of the season as we're winding down. Take care, guys. Keep collecting.